Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Yahiam uh, Selem, working uh, at the Ministry of Health Zanzibar, Department of Preventive Service. Uh, I'm preventing for Zanzibar with my colleague online, Dr. Fazili Abdullah. Uh, in Zanzibar, we are, we are implementing the Zanzibar Cholera, Zanzibar Comprehensive Cholera Elimination Plan that was launched in 20, 2018. Uh, currently, we are implementing several control and, and uh, prevention intervention, including to ensure access of uh, safe and clean water. We are implementing several activities, including to increase the safe and clean water in the community. So in collaboration with the Zanzibar Water Authority, we are able to construct uh, 62 boreholes and 71 water storage tanks. Also, we are <coughs> also in health facilities, also we provide wash infrastructure in 41 health facilities. Also, we uh, constructed uh, 123 uh, wash infrastructure, as you can see in the picture. Uh, the hand washing facility in school also. We established the school health club to primary and secondary school in Zanzibar. Also, we are trained in case management. We are training, we are conducting training in IPC, case management. Also, we are established the cholera uh, treatment center in subnational level. In Zanzibar, we have 11 districts. Each district has their own cholera treatment center. Also, we are able to conduct for Quarterly uh, cholera multi sector technical committee meeting for, to evaluate the implementation status of the plan. We are also implementing uh, health, education, health education intervention uh, by, to the public uh, for hand hygiene and food hygiene in school to key influencer, including key mobilizer, community health volunteer, and community leaders. Also, we are conducting radio and TV program to educate the community on <coughs> wash and hygiene practice. This, we, are, we have TV and radio programs. It is live and recorded program. Also, we are conducting the mobile van session in the community. Also, we have distributed the ICC, BCC material to the community for behavioral change. Or in Zanzibar, there are reported over 17 cholera outbreaks since 1988, but recurrently seasonal outbreak predicted during the heavy rain season, mostly in March to June and October, December. All districts in Zanzibar are affected, but most, <coughs> but worst outbreak in Zanzibar was <coughs> reported to 2015 and 16, whereas uh, about uh, over 4,000 cases and 60 deaths, that is 1.6 case fatality rate were reported. Uh, the most hot spot area in urban, peri urban, and fishing. You know, in Zanzibar, there are two big islands, but there are other small islands that people are living. So the most the economic is activity is fishing. So you, as you know, the most uh, affected group for cholera are fishing population. 
Also, we uh, conducted uh, the Olera vaccine campaign in the last year, uh, in July 2021 and March 2022. The target population was 414,000 and we are able to vaccinate uh, around 200,000 people, that is about 61%. Uh, the population that have received the first dose was around uh, nearly 400,000, but the people who came and get the, the second dose was around 250,000. So the one eight, that is nearly 40% of people were missed. So that is the challenge of that I was said yesterday, the formulation of OCV. So we had a, a challenge such as uh, inadequate funding, uh, also with delayment of re re release of funds. That was a big problem that I wo was I faced. So the achievement and the good practice, as we can see, there is a need to sustain multi-sectoral collaboration. So we are good practice in multi-sectoral uh, multi co collaboration and coordination. Also, prime focus in strengthening water and san san sanitation standard. Mass cholera vac vaccination can be coupled uh, while sustaining and social behavioral change. Or mass that is reported. High political commitment for the revolutionary government of, of Zanzibar is well, very good. Also, we have good partnership between the revo revolutionary government, Zanzibar, and development partner, including WHO, UNICEF, CDC, uh, and so on. My special thanks for that agency. Also, we have a lot of challenges such, uh, such as poor wash infrastructure, especially in the peri-urban, inadequate, integr inadequate integration and coordination of the wash strategies, inadequate enforcement of wash regulation, and we have also faced deal with the open defecation program. Also, fast growing population in peri-urban is a big challenge and inadequate behavioral change in the community. Uh, priority areas for the 2022 20, to 23 is building national and district laboratory capacity by procurement of incubator, water bath, autoclave, petri dish, refrigerator, and other supply. In Zanzibar now, we have established our national public health laboratory. Procure and distribute about 500 cholera rapid test, introduce electronic IDSR system, example mobile, <coughs> introduce electronic IDSR system to the community so as to get the, to capture the information from the community, monitor and supervise water quality and infrastructure, conduct mid-term review of Zanzibar, comprehensive cholera elimination plan, and improve communication with a different level. Asante Nisana. Thank you very much.